morning. I've about had it with this closet situation because the whole top part fell off with all of my clothes. Ended up breaking the second part because it was so heavy. And we have a complete mess in my closet right now, which, I mean, one part of me is like, well, it's just gonna sign. Why is my closet falling, you know? Now I have to fix all of this stuff, all of this extra work for nothing. But anyways, my closet is literally, like, falling apart right now. It's only my side, too. Ricardo's side has never fell, and I feel like it has as much clothes as mine, but apparently not. Uh, my side is probably heavier because this is the second time it's happened like I said it actually happened hmm, a couple like maybe two three months ago and then yesterday or the day before yesterday we were at Natalie's house and we come back pretty late and then I don't know why I walked past my vanity because my vanity is right there it's kind of messy but anyways I was walking past my vanity and then like from the corner of my eye I see like there's like a mess in the closet but there's always kind of a mess in the closet so I don't know what made me turn but I like fully turned my head and I was like my closet literally fell because the first time it happened, it happened at night and, you know, we heard it like it was a loud noise. Second time we were home and I didn't realize it had happened until really late. And I was like, oh, no way my closet fell for a second time. So, I called up my landlord and he is willing to fix it, but I am over it. So, I said, how about we look for a different solution because clearly this ain't working out. So, I think I'm just going to not put that back up. Probably have him patch up the holes and... And I'm gonna buy a like little dresser pull-out dresser a small one that can fit there just kind of to avoid problems because it's happened two times It's bound to happen a third time. We're probably gonna renew our lease stay here for another year So bang kidding me. I just don't want this thing to happen a third time So ultimately I think what we're gonna do is just buy that little dresser We're gonna go to Ikea right now, which is the reason why I'm about to get ready I was going to to wash my hair out right now but actually I don't think that's gonna be a smart decision because I don't think I have enough time later I think I'm gonna go to an event and I just need to be ready early because it's in LA LA traffics are crazy on Saturdays so that's basically everything that's been going on with my closet and the new thing that we're gonna do is basically how to explain it now pull back up the two like ones that were on the side remove those patch them up or whatever and then put a dresser there and just put one little bar up for me in the back that was not there before so otherwise I'm just not gonna be able to use my closet anymore which is really annoying but you know saving up for my own home comes at a price and this is the price I have to pay for but it's fine because I already kind of felt like my closet was super cluttered so I think maybe this was just a sign that I needed to do something about it or it gave me the motivation to do something about it so I'm gonna get ready really quick like I said my hair is already curled because I, I cut my hair yesterday so she kind of curled it for me I didn't love the curls she had done for me I kind of wanted to do my own style but it doesn't look bad you know like I just preferred my style but I'm just gonna keep it like this to go to Ikea and pick up the dress which is probably really quick every single time we go to ikea we do like really really long trips because i go through the whole sections and everything today we're literally just going to pick up the dresser and come back i'm actually going to just check right now make sure it's even in stock because if it isn't then there's no point in going and then just come back build it i was already going to do spring cleaning so it's just you know i think this was just meant to be so that i would do it faster because if it wouldn't have been for this i would probably not have cleaned my closet for spring right now um, so i'm gonna do a little bit of spring cleaning i have a couple of things or a lot of things that are pretty much new in there but i don't even know i have in there because like I have so much stuff I'm going to put it up for sale which leads me to today's sponsor which is Poshmark it's perfect literally Poshmark is going to help me with this so much so let me talk a little bit about Poshmark and then we will go to Ikea Poshmark is the easiest way to sell items to clean out your closet every single time I clean out my closet or find pieces that still even have tags but they've been just kind of like stuck together and I didn't even realize I had them so most of the time I figure that at that time I'm going to sell it and I do this on Poshmark it is so easy but not only can you sell your clothes, you can also find amazing deals and shop from thousands of brands and you can even get them for up to 70% off the retail price. They even have luxury brands available at affordable prices and they even have a complimentary authentication for your purchases that are $500 and more. Most of the clothing that I put on my Poshmark are from my favorite stores that I shop at. For example, this H&M long sleeve that has little rhinestones in the front. Um, especially during the sunlight, they glow. Um, this is one of the items I'm going to be putting up on my Poshmark, as well as this cropped long sleeve with some green stripes. Uh, this again is from H&M. Here is another example. These are kind of like those like high school jackets. This one is from Shein, but you can shop around my closet, share whatever you buy from my closet on Instagram with me. I would love to see what you get. Everything on my Poshmark is going to be $3. So go download the app and shop my closet. This is my account right here, but everything will be in the description box below. So you can download the Poshmark app and shop my closet as well as many other brands and deals on their app. Thank you so much Poshmark for sponsoring today's video.
We are currently just taking out all of this mess. Like I said, this was way overdue. We definitely needed to clean out. We need another shoe rack because our shoes don't fit there. So we've just kind of been putting them there. But Ikea's out of stock of this kind of shoe rack. So I'm not sure if I should just buy a different kind or wait till they're back in stock. Because they've been out of stock for a little while. So our shoes, oh, I don't know what to do with them. But anyways, we are going to move the shoe racks to this side right now. And then we're going to put the dresser there. Just kidding. We're not at Ikea quite just yet. But Ricardo just did a lot of progress on the closet he basically just took off everything for us which you know i mean you know like hopefully we're good on that but basically he cleaned out the whole closet you know how it was full of shoes it had shoes everywhere because our shoe racks don't have enough space on them anymore so they were just on the floor and it was just a lot of mess on the floor because we didn't have anywhere to put it but he just took everything out and he put the shoe racks on the wall where the clothing was up before so here is how it's looking right now so our shoes are right there and then that back wall is where I'm going to put my dresser and I think it's going to be a lot more spacious actually this way because I can walk in and there's like more space before our clothing was here and the clothing would literally come up to like you know right here so I would have to like squeeze my way on the side. So the reason why I would hardly ever come in here and why my shit was always in shambles because I just didn't even want to come in here because it was so crowded. But yeah, that's the update. And here is the OOTD of the day. I have this shirt I bought from Hollister. Did I really tell you guys? I don't even know. Honestly, I have no idea what it even says on here. All I know is that it seemed like a really like, you know, like laid back t-shirt where I could just wear it and like feel super comfortable. Nothing like really fashionable or anything. These Abercrombie, do I have a tag on them? No, I think it's a good one. These Abercrombie jeans that I also bought yesterday. Abercrombie jeans, another like super big purchase. Yesterday, dude, my gola was hurting so much. But another thing that it's like, Abercrombie jeans fit so nicely. Like, look, dude, look at my ass. Like, it looks fat as fuck, you know? Boy, if you don't... My ass isn't that fat, but this just kind of like... So, highly recommend. They are around $100 each, though, so... I only had one pair before because I was like, oh, like, this is too expensive. So, I only bought one. But I wore it, like, every single day, and it was getting to the point where it's like, I wasn't washing my jeans because I didn't want to wear any other jeans. And it was getting gross, so I was like, you know what? I need to go invest in another pair of jeans. So, yeah, and then my haircut. Honestly, I feel like it looks or feels so short now because of the haircut. But, yeah, those are the updates, and now we can, for sure, go to Ikea. I'm craving an acai bowl, and there's a spa that not intentionally is called the Spa Cafe um, that we just recently discovered because Ricardo and I did a trying vegan food for a whole day a video which actually I will link it up here if you guys haven't already seen it but that was our first restaurant we went to and I love the acai bowl from there and everything there is pretty natural or healthy you know better for your body which guys update I've lost five pounds five and it's only been with like my eating I haven't really been working out so next week I plan on incorporating gym or gym or at least like trying to you know be a little bit more more active but I've been eating healthy for this is my fourth week <gasps> Oh my gosh, guys, and I've been doing so good. Like, oh my god. I don't even want to talk. I am so proud of myself. But anyway, we're not talking about my weight loss. I can do a video of what I eat in a day for another video. But today, we gotta get this mess situated. This is how my bedroom is looking, though. Look at my bed. It's filled with all of the clothes I had in my closet. But yeah, all of my clothes definitely need to spring clean. This is gonna be my spring cleaning video, basically, because I was forced to do it. Are you ready to go, baby? Yeah, ready. All right, let's go. Alrighty, we are at Ikea. As you guys can see, a little bit of blue over there. I drove here. What? She's a driver now. I actually drove in traffic pretty much. It was a really bad accident. And I was in traffic for like 25 minutes. Literally, we were just going like 5 miles per hour and then complete stop. 5 miles per hour, a complete stop. But I feel like I'm driving in all of these different environments of like traffic, which is like giving me practice with Ricardo. You know, that like he gives me advice and all that stuff. I usually do it by myself without feeling anxious or anything. But I checked online. The dresser is in stock. So we're going to take one dresser. Well, part of me is like, oh, let's take two dressers. Just in case I want to put them on the other side because I could always return them But I don't know and I also have really bad allergies F the spring like I love the spring But I hate it because it literally wants to just kill me my body wants to kill me Anyways, we're gonna go in literally just get that can't see anything else and then walk out so we can the event because the event is at 4 p.m Today, it's about an hour away with a little bit of traffic and um, it's already almost 12 So we found dressers galore, but we did come for not that one. We have this one in our bedroom. <gasps> Is it three forty nine? No, it was a hundred dollars. It's over here. Look, it's right there. It's right there. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Contact IKEA owner. That's what was telling us on the phone. I don't know. Because we could also get this other color as that well. That one's four. E. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one. Do you think they, if they have this one in a white, would you Probably. Because I feel like four drawers is better than three. No, obviously. You know? Oh, it's on the other side. Securing. Good. It's coming. Let's go, my love. We got the good. Somebody. 
Ricardo is struggling a little bit. Fuck my aesthetic montage. Ricardo's messing it up. He doesn't know how to acomodar. I'm sorry, baby. Just I stand there, homie. Stand there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alrighty. Alrighty, so we just picked up one of the mom dressers, but it has four drawers instead of only three like I was expecting to get. So hopefully it's not too tall and my clothes still fit with that top like little thing that I want to do. I actually I'm not sure when it's even going to get done. Last time it took a little bit to get done. This time around, we will see. Hopefully it's done within the next couple of days or maybe even tonight. So we're going to go home and Ricardo is going to get that ready while I shower and get ready for tonight's event because if not, we're going to be way too late. So I'm going to drive home. I need my practice in. And then we will start getting ready, getting our closet ready and all that jazz. Hi guys, we're back. We picked up our breakfast. Actually, this is the very first time Ricardo and I are like actually eating in our countertops. We don't even have like stools for our counters. But yeah, we literally have never ever ever ate here. That's the reason why we don't have counters still. So we're, we're sitting on these like small chairs. But I think we should do this more often just because like we always eat in the room. And whether that be bringing in one of the tables from the patio in or just sitting on the bed it just kind of like gets old i hate eating on the bed one and two it's just kind of annoying bringing the table in and out but i bought an acai bowl this is how it looks this is my second time trying it the first time was super delicious so let me see how it is this time mm, yeah bomb love it a pretty light breakfast since starting to eat like a lot cleaner my stomach is so sensitive if i eat anything that's like a little bit heavy i get tummy aches but anyways we got the dress i think it's gonna be perfect because now i'm gonna have a lot more space to store my clothes because before i only had the dresser where the tv is at and it was only three because the other three were cardos so i have a lot of clothes that i need to put away i think what i'm gonna do all of my sweaters since the summertime is already coming anyway i'm gonna put them in bags and probably take them to the office to store them there right after this i'm gonna start getting ready and i need to be ready by three latest it's gonna be a mission but we're gonna do it we're gonna accomplish this mission i'm gonna finish eating and then i'll start getting ready I just finished doing my hair and my makeup. Things are looking off. I will try to fix them in a little bit. But I blow dried my hair. How I kind of like it a little bit better. How it looks from the back. How does it look, babe? Looks really good. I actually like it a lot. It's super bouncy. Uh, this is what I wanted to get from the beginning with the Dyson. But because I didn't have layers, it was super hard to accomplish. But I accomplished it today. Kind of. Except for the bangs. I don't really have time because it's already super late. I'm already like half an hour late. So I'm going to put on a quick outfit. Thinking I was... Okay, so I was going to put a pink outfit on. But instead, I'm just going to put this one on because Gabby sent me a picture of the location and everything is pink so i'm just gonna blend in so I'm just oh gonna... my gosh imagine if you were pink yeah so i'm just gonna wear this and then jeans for shoes i have no idea we were figuring it out but this is my makeup and my hair freak this me all right let me get ready Alrighty, we are on our way to today's event hopefully all goes well i know everything's gonna go well i just i played these mind games with myself which is the reason why i didn't drive for so long because i just overthink everything so much and i always think the worst but we're going nevertheless like we're we're gonna be there gabby is there you know what can go bad do you guys there we are here let's go it's so cute look at that car Marle las pigs con los lentes yo los pondré eh solo tres that looks amazing i love it oh my god it's so cute crispy <laughs> background mm -hmm. super duper bright so cute look at the car okay. they put flowers and everything do you, you think these are edible okay. no. you Let's see what Hold on. sir why are you always in my stop <laughs> Justin, help me! Got my little bot and already time to go, but it was so cute. This cafe was so cute and they gave us like these little goodies. Okay, I can't open it, but these are the goodies that are in here. We're gonna go eat now, but it was 
was so pretty. Like every, all the decoration was so so pretty. So was it a good thing that you came? Definitely. <laughs> Always um, step out of your comfort zone for sure. We came to this parking garage in the middle of I don't even know going up and up because there's no parking. This is the thing with LA. There's no parking anywhere, and I get claustrophobic so easily, so it's so bad. But hopefully the food is worth it because, dude, we're literally going like up and up and up and on the rooftop, bro. Oh my god. We're gonna eat at the parking. Okay, we finally got all of our food. I'm gonna share my food. I'm gonna get a pupusa and half a Gabby burrito. They're eating pupusa. What are the boys eating? Chicken. Chicken. Damn, that looks good, babe. Give me some of that, boy. Yes, sir. We're gonna all take it. Oh my god, ew. Guys, so I just made it back home. We had a fun time. Um, I'm so glad I went out of my comfort zone to go to the event. And we made, I met a lot of new people. And then we went out to eat. And then midway through that, I realized that my daughter, Bailey, was inside of our house out when we left her in the patio so somehow i guess the door wasn't shut correctly she came inside and let me just show you guys what she did so you guys already knew all of our clothes were on the bed because of the closet but we had we were building a dresser here where ricardo was and she like chewed up like all of the cardboard there is like more sh you know chewed up stuff and you see that brown thing right there yeah that's poop you want to know why <laughs> She went through all of our trash bin or, you know, toilet paper that we throw that's dirty. Let me not show you guys this much. Anyways, so now I have to clean up poopy from my whole restroom and a little bit of the room. But it's fine because at least she didn't she didn't poop in here. She didn't pee in here. She didn't eat any of my shoes. She didn't eat any of my shoes. She didn't eat any of my socks. None of my clothes, I don't think. Not that I know at least. It looks like she didn't do much of a mess other than biting like paper, cardboard, which is something she has a habit of doing. Even sometimes when I have like a napkin that'll like leave on the floor or like it falls off, she'll just get it, take it into her little kennel and she'll start biting on it. Uh, I don't know why she loves paper so much. So I'm gonna freaking get everything cleaned up, situated. We're also gonna finish uh, building the drawers right now. It is currently 10.09 p.m. But we're not gonna go to sleep until we finish building all the drawers. And tomorrow morning, we can put all the clothes away, I think. For tonight, we're just gonna throw everything on a blanket on the floor. Because, I mean, we're not gonna be able to sleep if we don't put our clothes away. So that's, that's the little update. Um, but we're home. And then we had a fun day, I guess. So, yep, let's get to cleaning. Guys, so we have our closet fixed. It's not what I wanted it to be fixed like. All that was done was it was put back onto like how it was originally. Just with a little bit more reinforcement. Which was not my plan A. But you know, it's whatever. You know, I have control entirely over what is done with the closet. So it's reinforced and it should be good to go. But I already bought the dresser and stuff. So we don't have the bottom part of the closet anymore because we just have my shoes now. Which is this. Let me show you guys. So the bottom part has the shoes. Remember how this? there was a second part right here? Well, it's not there anymore. It was just not replaced. The top part is just reinforced we have the dresser here that i bought and this side is pretty much the same how it like always has been so ricardo is going to finish building the dresser like the actual while i basically deep clean because now that i don't have the bottom part to put like my sweaters and all that stuff down here i don't have a lot of space to put all my stuff which is fine you know i'm gonna do some spring cleaning probably put all of my sweaters away because like i said it's not really like cold anymore i'm probably just gonna leave a couple sweaters and put the rest in the office in our like little storage place the shower but i'm gonna do that today because tomorrow we want to go out it's sunday tomorrow and we want to go on a trip tomorrow but if i don't finish this tonight i'm not gonna be able to go out tomorrow so it's 11 p.m we're gonna spring clean at 11 p.m because i want to go out tomorrow <laughs> So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to... Actually, you know what? No. I'm just going to get all the stuff that I want and start putting it here. And then everything else that I don't want, I'm going to put in one bag. All the stuff that I'm going to be putting on my Poshmark, I'm going to put it on in one bag. And then the other stuff that I want to store for, like, next year, the winter stuff, I'm going to put in another bag. And then all the stuff that I want to donate, I'm going to put in another bag. We're going to do piles, and then we're also going to put the stuff that we are going to keep here. So, let's get started. I am not looking forward to this. I'm not going to finish this till probably, like, I don't know, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., who knows? But we're gonna get started. So let's go. All right, first items of the day. First things, ready.
Sorry, guys. I have pretty much everything up here. All of the stuff that just consists of, you know, shirts, bodysuits, and then here I have more, like, long sleeves, and then these really have been into. They're kind of, like, you know, button-ups, but they're cute. Here I have some of my dresses. That's pretty much it, and I think that's all I'm gonna keep here. Ricardo's going to purge his bottom side a little bit, so we're gonna share the bottom part for sweaters, for, like, the very, very necessary sweaters, and that's it. We're gonna have the drawers right here. I'm gonna put jeans here and probably some other stuff, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Super excited because it looks so much more spacious now. You see how like, ooh, love it. All right, the dressers are all put in. I'm gonna start putting my jeans in here. I'll put jeans on the top drawer because I think it's gonna be the easiest. This kind of is gonna annoy me though because it's blocking a little bit of the way. Jeans time, baby. Let's go. Jeans, jeans. I'm bringing jeans. I have so many freaking jeans, but I don't even use them all because I only like Abercrombie jeans. Got more jeans. Oh, they're not all gonna fit in this drawer. All right, jeans in here. There we go. Yet, my bed is still looking like it's a shambles. I think I'm not gonna go to sleep. No. Yet. I'm sleeping. It's already, it's 12.30. Even Bailey's sleepy. Look at her. All right, guys. So it is 3.04 right now. We've spent the last like four hours decluttering everything, but finally we got it done. I'm so proud of myself for doing it tonight because I know tomorrow I would have been super lazy to do it. So I basically cleared out everything from my closet. I had a couple of bags to put out on Poshmark, a couple of bags to donate. So I have definitely decluttered a lot of my clothing. So as you guys saw we only have one little like rack on my side now instead of two The bottom has shoes and the top part has my t-shirts or just shirts crop tops and all that stuff On the other side Ricardo has his clothes on the top one and the bottom we split it for like a little bit of sweaters or just kind of like, what are they called? The ones that are not hoodies? Crewnecks? So half is his, half is mine. And then the dresser, we finished it all. You guys saw I put my jeans on the first two and then Ricardo put jeans on the third one and the last one is empty. So the closet is pretty much all spring cleaned and you know, decluttered, good, ready to go. And also the room is pretty clean, the bed is clean and everything is pretty much clean and Ricardo just finished mopping. I'm so excited because I, we really needed that clean and definitely this gave us the push to do it but I am so tired we didn't even wake up that that early today but we did so much like so much I don't even think I recorded that much but we did so much and I'm so glad I went to that event today definitely a learning lesson for everyone that if you're not comfortable doing something you know like a social gathering or something like definitely challenge yourself to do it because in the end you're most likely going to regret it if you don't do it and two if you do do it be happy that you did go out of your comfort zone that's something I've been trying to work on a lot aka why I've been driving driving more and aka why I went today because past me would have been like yeah you know what let me just stay at home let me avoid this situation but yeah we had a really productive day today spring cleaned make sure to check out my Poshmark and yeah I will see you guys next time bye